Yo, it's Kim, and obviously I'm not at home, I'm not even in the same country right now, I'm in Singapore attending my friend's wedding, but I've been so busy the last couple of weeks, I haven't had time to upload anything, but today I thought we'd record a short episode on how to protect your lens, particularly the front element. Now before I get carried away, you should know that there is a free giveaway of three years of Lightroom and Photoshop, but more about that later. So why is the front element important? Well, like someone trapped in a bad relationship, this takes a lot of abuse. Now personally, I do tend to bump up the front element quite a lot, so this is really important to protect, especially when you start buying expensive lenses. Now one great way to protect the front element is to use these lens caps. What's great about them is that they're free, they're good against bumps, they're good against oily hands, but it's a hassle to take them on and off all the time, and they're super easy to use, and for that reason, I leave them at home, I hardly use them. The second way to protect your lens is to use a lens hood. Now many people think this is just for lens flares, it's not. You screw it to the front and you have an extra layer of protection. Now when you're bumping into stuff, it's gonna be hitting the lens hood rather than the front element. And that's really good, but it doesn't cover everything because you still get oily hands or your dog's nose on the front element and damage the coating there. Another way to protect my lens is to use a filter. It could be a UV filter or a clear filter but having that will protect against oil, against bumps, and if it ever gets cracked, you can just buy another one, which is a lot better than replacing the entire lens. However, be warned, these filters can also become really expensive, so that's something to think about. However, if those methods don't work for you, this could be the answer. Now, a company called LensCap reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in making a video about this, and I said yes. Now, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but they did give me this for free, but don't worry, I'm still gonna give my personal opinions about this product. I've had it for about a month now, so I've been able to gather my thoughts about using this. Now how it works is you get matching sizes with your lens. Right now I'm actually using a 58 millimeter with my G7 kit lens, which is obviously too big. So I've got a step ring on at the moment. Basically how it works is you just screw it on and you've got instant protection. Now using this ring right here, you can adjust how you want it to flip out. I have it flipping out this way, but you can have it adjusted so that it flips up or down or even that way. But moving on to the build quality of this lens, this is actually pretty well built, even though it's just plastic. And I really like how they're using magnets right here. It's a nice touch. Overall, I like the build quality because it's not too heavy, so it's not gonna be adding too much weight. However, I recommend that you get the right size for your lens just because it'll make it more compact. Now, for those of you that frequent my channel, you know that usability is probably the most important factor to me. And when it comes to usability for this product, I like to think of it in terms of the amateur and enthusiast versus pros. Now, if you're an amateur and enthusiast and you're out traveling, this is great because you don't wanna be damaging your lens. And if you just need a shot, boom you're ready. And I think overall this is where this product excels. If you need to take quick snapshots here and there, boom! But if you're a pro user, I don't think I would recommend this product just because if you're on a shoot, this is going to be pretty much open the entire time and you're going to be having this dangle from the side of your camera all the time. Now like I said earlier, I never had any experience with this snapping during my month with it, but I still have that fear whether it's rational or not is really up to you guys and how you work. I've never encountered it, but I always have that in the back of my mind. So wrapping this all up, who is this for? Personally, I think that this is more for amateurs and enthusiasts, and maybe if you're just getting started, this is a great investment. But someone like me, I've already got filters and lens hoods for all of my lenses, and I don't actually need something like this anymore. But if I was starting again today, maybe I would give this a shot and maybe save myself some cash from those expensive filters that I have on those lenses. But as it is with my workflow, I don't actually need it. Now in terms of pricing and availability, I don't have information about that, but I will link their website below. Now if you've stuck till the end, you're in luck because this company, LensCap, is actually hosting a giveaway. Not me, I'm broke. Yes! But they're giving you a chance to win a pre-release version of this lens cap right here, or alternatively, you can win three years free of Lightroom and Photoshop CC. Don't know about you, but those are pretty awesome deals to me. I think there's about 10 days left on either deal. One of them has maybe like two weeks left, but I wouldn't waste my time if I were you. Go visit their websites. I'll leave the links down below. Anyway, I know Photokina 2018 has been a cluster yes. of camera news, so maybe I'll make a video about what to think about everything but maybe not, but in any case, it's nice to see everybody's faces again, and I'll catch you guys in the comments.